In this video, we're going to take a look at writing equations in slope-intercept form, given any particular form. First of all, we need to remember what slope-intercept form is. Remember, slope-intercept form is where we have our equation solve for y, and it's y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So what we can do here then is just get that y by itself. We're going to be basically solving all of these equations for y. So let's start with this one right here. First of all, we want to find that y. There it is. And get rid of anything else that's hanging out with it. So there's a 4x here. It's a positive 4x. And we want to keep it together and take it to the other side. So right now I'm going to subtract that 4x. So minus 4x. And I'll subtract 4x on this side. Then remember, that cancels that out. That's all gone. Don't lose this negative. Many times people will lose that negative there. That's got to come with the y for now. We'll take care of that in a little bit. So we have negative y equals, now, slope-intercept form has the x term first. So I'm going to write the negative 4x first. So negative 4x, and then that's a positive 1, so plus 1. Now, not quite done yet. That y isn't by itself. So we need to get rid of that. And sometimes people want to say, oh, how do I get rid of that? Well, imagine there was a 2 there. How would we get rid of a 2? We divide by 2. Well, same story here. We're going to divide by negative 1. And when I do that over here, remember I have to divide each piece by negative 1. So we'll work our way through with that negative 1 there. All right, so then negative and a negative, that gets us the positive y, which is what we're looking for, equals. Now we're going to divide each piece by that negative 1. So basically it's going to change the sign. So this becomes 4x. And then we've got positive 1 divided by negative 1. That's going to be minus 1. So there is our equation in slope-intercept form. All right, let's take a look at this next one here. In this one, here's our y. So let's get rid of anything else. Well, there's an x there. How are we going to get rid of that x? We're going to subtract x from both sides. Now, I've got what's left here. Don't, again, lose that negative. We've got to keep that with. So we have negative 3y equals negative x, and then plus 6. That's a positive 6 sitting there, so plus 6. Then we're going to divide by the negative 3, getting that y by itself. And again, remember, we're dividing this whole thing by negative 3. So in this one, I just wrote it under the whole thing. Another way you could do that is to divide each piece by negative 3 like that. Okay, so then let's clean up. We've got those are gone. We're just left with y, which is perfect. That's what we want. Equals, then we got negative x divided by negative 3. Well, I'm going to write that like this. It's going to be positive. I'm going to write it as 1 third x. You could also write it as x over 3. Oftentimes, though, when we're dealing with slope, we like that fraction slope sitting there. So hopefully that makes sense. Then 6 divided by negative 3 is going to be minus 2. There we are, slope-intercept form. We could pull out that um, y-intercept and the slope and make use of those. Then let's take a look at this one over here. In this case, we've got stuff going on with both the x and the y term. So in order to clean that up, again, we got to work our way down so we just have the y left over. So we're going to start by getting rid of the x stuff. So minus 6x, minus 6x. And then we have what's left? 3y. So 3y equals, again, I'm going to write this piece first. So minus 6x. And then plus 18. Then I got to get that y by itself. It should seem kind of familiar now. Going to divide by 3 and divide by 3 on each piece over here. Cleaning up. So we just have y equals negative 6x divided by 3 would be negative 2x. And then 18 divided by 3 is 6. There we are, slope intercept form, solve for y. What a deal. All right, then, this one. Now, sometimes another thing that I see people wanting to do is they want to divide by 4 on this. We don't want to do that because that's going to break up the 4 and the x. 
we want to take that whole thing over there. So that's why we're going to be subtracting rather than dividing. Oftentimes, like here, we wanted to break up the 3 and the y. Well, in this case, we want to keep it together. So that's why we um, do the subtracting, or sometimes you might add. We didn't have any examples of that here. But um, that's why you would do that rather than dividing. So we're going to subtract 4x again. Subtract 4x. What's left? That's gone. We've got 8y right there. Bring it down. Equals. And then here, again, we'll arrange it in this order with the x term first. So negative 4x and then plus 2. Then, finally, we've got to get that y by itself. So we'll divide by 8. Divide each piece by 8. And this one, we're going to end up with some fraction stuff. So we have y equals and clean up here. So now treat this as just the fraction negative 4 over 8 which we can simplify to negative one half x and then this one two over eight we could divide by two top and bottom so that would be the fraction one fourth so there we are so writing equations in slope intercept form whether you're given them in standard form or any other form the key is really to just solve for y and when we do that then we want the x term first and remember the coefficient of that's going to be our slope and then we've got our constant over here which is going to be the y-intercept hope this video is helpful keep working hard on your math you can do it